Russian forces withdraw from Kherson in major key victory. Russian troops have received orders to withdraw from Kherson city, one of the Ukrainian cities Vladimir Putin annexed in late September. Russia has withdrawn its troop presence from Kherson, a key battleground held by the Kremlin that it had annexed earlier this year. Officials made the recommendation to withdraw in a televised briefing today, conceding significant territory. The decision came from Russian top brass and would hand Kiev a significant victory in its southern offensive, a vital part of the overall effort to expel Russian soldiers. Major humiliation for Russia's military as Putin hands Ukraine morale boost The Russian president has handed Ukrainian troops a morale boost as his country pulls its forces from Kherson. General Sergei Shurovikin recommended the move in a televised briefing with Defense Secretary Sergei Shuigu. Allies have since hailed the move the right decision, but experts say it has humiliated Putin. David Lewis, a professor of international relations and peace and conflict studies at the University of Exeter, said the withdrawal is a significant blow to the Kremlin. He said the announcement would leave Russia embarrassed, and hand Ukrainian troops a morale boost as they pursue their southern offensive. Pentagon warns Russian army may never recover from Ukraine war as half of all tanks lost. Colin Call, the undersecretary for U.S. defense, claimed half of Russia's tanks have now been destroyed by Ukrainian troops. Speaking to CNN, he said, Putin has failed. Russia will emerge from this war weaker than it went in. Putin went into this war trying to extinguish Ukraine as an independent, sovereign democratic country. He has failed, and that is not going to change. A sovereign, independent, democratic Ukraine is going to endure. The US has committed more than $18.2 billion in weapons and other equipment to Ukraine since the war began on February 24. Russia losing slowly in Ukraine, says Ben Wallace. Russia is losing slowly in the war against Ukraine, Defense Secretary Ben Wallace told Ukrainian troops training with British forces on Wednesday. Mr. Wallace was visiting the soldiers, who are training at Lit Army Camp in Kent as part of Operation Interflex, with NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg. Ukraine war, Russia orders troops to withdraw from key city of Kherson. Defense Minister Sergei Shuigu on Wednesday ordered Russian troops to withdraw from the west bank of the Dnipro River in the face of Ukrainian attacks near the southern city of Kherson. The announcement marks one of Russia's most significant retreats and a potential turning point in the war, now nearing the end of its ninth month. But it has brought a skeptical response from Ukraine's government. Shuigu said on television that he would proceed with the withdrawal of the soldiers after a proposal by the commander of Russian operations in Ukraine, General Sergei Shurovikin. Shurovikin, in overall command of the war, also appeared on TV. He acknowledged that it was not at all an easy decision to make but explained that it was no longer possible to supply Kherson city. He said he proposed to take up defensive lines on the eastern bank of the river. We will save the lives of our soldiers and fighting capacity of our units. Keeping them on the right, western, bank is futile. Some of them can be used on other fronts, Shurovikin said. A senior advisor to Ukraine's president said on Wednesday that Kiev saw no sign at this stage of Russian forces withdrawing from Kherson. We see no sign that Russia is leaving Kherson without a fight. Some Russian, troops, are still in the southern Ukrainian city, said presidential adviser Mihailo Podolyak, blasting staged TV statements by Moscow. Until the Ukrainian flag is flying over Kherson, it makes no sense to talk about a Russian withdrawal, he told Reuters previously. Earlier, the main bridge on a road out of Kherson city was blown up. Photos on the internet show the span of the Derevka bridge on the main highway east out of Kherson completely collapsed into the water of the Inhulets River, a tributary of the Dnipro River. Reuters verified the location of the images. The news followed weeks of Ukrainian advances towards the city. Before launching its ground offensive in the north of the Kherson region at the end of the summer, Ukrainian forces disabled key bridges for the supply of Russian forces, thanks in particular to arms delivered by the West, in particular American HIMARS rocket systems. The Kremlin-installed authorities have been racing to relocate more than 100,000 of the residents who remained in the area after Russia's occupation in the early days of the full-scale invasion. Moscow says it has been evacuating civilians, but Kyiv has described the population transfers from the right bank of the Dnipro as deportations. Kherson is the only regional capital Russian forces had seized during the eight-month war. The announcement of the withdrawal follows a Russian troop pullout from the Kharkiv region in September. It comes just over a month after Russian President Vladimir Putin claimed annexation of Kherson and three other regions of Ukraine, Donetsk, Luhansk and Zaporizhia. Moscow considers all these areas as its sovereign territory. The Kherson region is all the more strategic as its territory borders Crimea. It provides Moscow with a land bridge to the Black Sea Peninsula that it seized from Kyiv in 2014. Ukraine retaking swathes of the Kherson region would deprive Moscow of that land corridor. 
It would also bring long-range Ukrainian artillery closer to Crimea, which Moscow sees as vitally important to its interests. The announcement had been anticipated by Russia's influential war bloggers, who described it as a bitter blow. Apparently we will leave the city, no matter how painful it is to write about it now, said the War Gonzo blog, which has more than 1.3 million subscribers on Telegram. In simple terms, Kherson can't be held with bare hands, it said. Yes, this is a black page in the history of the Russian army. Of the Russian state. A tragic page. On Tuesday night, a Ukrainian military statement accused Russian troops of continuing to loot and destroy infrastructure in Kherson. This is a major development in the war. It will liberate or free up approximately 4.000 square kilometers of territory, Peter Dickinson, Ukraine editor at the Atlantic Council, told Euronews. The withdrawal is the consequence of Russian forces in the area gradually finding themselves more isolated, he explained. Ukraine's tactics for some months now have been essentially to blockade the Russian troops there, to cut them off from resupply by bombing and destroying the bridges over the Dnipro River, upon which they depended for their resupply. From a strategic point of view, it means an end to Russia's ambitions to move further along the coast towards Odessa, which is Ukraine's perhaps second most important city after Kyiv and the country's main port, Dickinson said. The symbolic value of the pullout from Kherson will be a morale booster for Kyiv, and create further uneasiness about the war in Moscow, he believes. I think there will be a lot questions asked now, in Russia, about the conduct of the war and the way it's been handled. This is the latest in a series of defeats and perhaps the most humiliating of all. Major humiliation for Russia's military Putin hands Ukraine morale boost. Vladimir Putin has handed Ukraine's defenders a morale boost after Russian officials announced they would withdraw forces from Kherson. Vladimir Putin has handed Ukrainian troops a morale boost as Russia pulls its forces from Kherson. Russian General Sergei Shurovikin recommended the move in a televised briefing with Defense Secretary Sergei Shuigu. Allies have since hailed the move the right decision, but experts say it has humiliated Putin. David Lewis, a professor of international relations and peace and conflict studies at the University of Exeter, said the withdrawal is a significant blow to the Kremlin. He said the announcement would leave Russia embarrassed, and hand Ukrainian troops a morale boost as they pursue their southern offensive. Professor Lewis said, this is a major humiliation for Russia's military and a significant boost for Ukraine's counteroffensive. It's the latest setback for Russia's military campaign after a major defeat in Kharkiv province in September. It is particularly humiliating because Putin claimed that it had formally annexed this territory only six weeks ago. But it was always likely to be difficult to defend Kherson once Ukraine was able to attack its supply lines across the Dnipro River. Professor Lewis added that the withdrawal emphasized the vulnerability of Russian troops but cautioned that it doesn't signify the end of the invasion. He continued, the assassination of a pro-Russian official in Kherson yesterday only emphasized how vulnerable Russian forces were becoming to Ukrainian attacks. But it does not mean that Russia is in full retreat. This is a tactical withdrawal to allow Russia to consolidate its positions on the left bank of the Dnipro and to ensure that it can hold its land bridge to Crimea against further Ukrainian offensives. But Russia's retreat will boost Ukrainian morale ahead of a hard winter when they are likely to suffer continued energy shortages and Russian attacks on their infrastructure.